5 seconds. Speaking on the budget in the Lok Sabha, an honorable member said, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, I thank you very much for the opportunity you have given me to speak on the budget at the outset. I may say that the general feeling in the country is that the finance minister is trying to help all sections of people. We are aware that he has shown some concessions. First of all, I would like to deal with the question of stabilization of prices and the holding of the price line. It may be recalled that the Minister of State made some observations about this yesterday. I do agree with some of his observations, but at the same time, I do not agree with some other observations of his. I would like to know what action the government have taken or will take to stabilize the prices and to hold the price line. In this connection, I want to submit that these are things on which the reputation of the government and the country will depend. We have to be convinced about one thing, namely how with the present fiscal and financial policies, prices will be stabilized all over the country and how we shall be able to hold the price line as far as the consumer is concerned. We have also to see that there is a progressive increase in national wealth. So far as this matter is concerned, we know how much increase there has actually been. I am sorry to say that the increase has not been much. Secondly, I would like to refer to the mode of taxation. At present, the people are taxed at three levels. So far as this matter is concerned, I had suggested earlier that there should be a broad demarcation among these three spheres of taxation, namely the local body level, the state level and the central level. There is a lot of confusion in collecting the taxes and the result is that there is evasion of taxation. I had suggested that under the leadership of the finance minister, there should be a meeting of the state finance ministers where a broad indication should be given of the spheres of taxation at the three levels. I am sure that it will be helpful if the central finance minister takes the initiative particularly to allocate the spheres of taxation at the three levels. If that is done, there will be less of confusion and there will be great relief for the people. Thirdly, I come to the simplification of the tax structure. Whenever I get an opportunity, I have been requesting the finance minister to simplify the taxation laws. I am thankful to him for making them a little simpler. So far as personal taxation is concerned, it has been done to some extent this time, but I feel that there is a scope for further simplification. At the present time, the law is complex and we get confused. As a result, when the income tax officer says that the tax will be levied at a particular rate, even though we feel that it is on the high side, we agree to pay whatever he demands in order to avoid harassment. In the circumstances, I think that simplification of the tax law will go a long way in helping the honest taxpayer. Fourthly, so far as excise duties are concerned, the concessions that have been given in excise duty will certainly help the common man. In this connection, I welcome the incentives that have been given for shifting of industries from congested areas. As a matter of fact, for some reason or other, many medium and large scale industries are concentrated at a few focal points in the country. It is high time that they were shifted so that there may be reasonable dispersal of the industries throughout the country. I hope that the incentives given will enable this to take place. Finally, I come to the question of urban property. I am glad that the finance minister has put a check on purchase of urban properties so that people with a lot of surplus money may not buy more and more urban property, making it difficult for the low income group people to get dwelling houses. It is likely that the local authorities may raise the question whether this tax on urban property should go to them or to the center. 
I hope the finance minister will look into that aspect of the matter.